for Trinity, we have Coach Scannell along with Nick Jewett and today's starting pitcher, Zach Spear. Coach, make any opening remarks? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, staying in that loser's bracket, um, what a performance by the big fella right here. Um, just all guts, uh, tough as nails, had a blister break open real early in that game and his whole left leg's filled with little blood spots. Um, that was just all guts, guts and toughness. And then, you know, offensively, that balance in our lineup showed up again, one through nine. Um, and, and so, you know, right now we just need to stay steady and, uh, and just try and keep this thing rolling. But I love the mindset of my club, really proud. Uh, and, and, you know, beat a, a really good opponent in Emory and, and you know, great coach in, in Mike. So, uh, you know, great, great W for us. Zach, uh, tell me a little bit, uh, as Coach mentioned, you were talk, talking about battling through a blister. Uh, just talk me through your performance, how you were able to keep uh, Emory a, a good team that you guys saw earlier this week off balance. Well, I mean, watching um, us blow that game the other day, it was pretty clear that if we just attacked the zone and stayed with a um, clear mind throughout the whole process, we could have been a lot more successful in that game. And I was able to gather myself in, in moments where um, I started to falter a little bit. And I, I'm, in terms of the blister, I mean, I, I throw a lot of two seams, so I, I blister up just about every game. So, I mean, it, this one sucked a little bit more, but um, it happens all the time. So two seam was working for you. What else were you throwing that was having success? Um, Honestly, I threw more fastballs today than I threw in any start in my entire career. Um, I'm, I'm uh, mostly a slider guy, um, and I come back with my fastball late in counts. But today, uh, with the wind blowing out, it was it was I, I couldn't let the ball um, I couldn't leave it up in the zone. And my two seam is more of like a, a sinker type pitch, where I could rely on getting ground balls by throwing it and. They were swinging early in counts and uh, keeping my pitch count lower than it usually is. Nick, uh, tell me about the offensive performance. You guys, uh, 10 runs in this game. Uh, just the game before, you guys were able to put nine runs on the board. You guys seem to be carrying a lot of confidence to the plate right now. Uh, 18 hits in this game. You were three for five. Talk a little about the uh, the offense. Uh, absolutely. We, uh, we're just going in there with confidence and trying to put together the best team maybe as we can. I mean, that, does that mean button, hit and running, or if getting a sack fire or anything like that? And you had, had hit two balls in the first your first two at-bats, so you hit through the hole left by hit and runs, right? Uh, correct. Yeah, so talk a little bit. What's the, what's the mentality when you know that's coming, you see the runner take off, and you know you've got to execute? Uh, put the ball in play. You know, try if you can, get it to the right side, but I'm just trying to put the ball in play and try to hit it hard so it uh, gets rid of any double play. Well, you know, we, uh, we've struggled all year with bunting, and um, it, it's just something we're not good at. And, uh, and so we're trying to coach to the strength of our team, and Nick is, uh, you know, just couldn't be more proud of him. He, he's a tough-minded kid. He really has become kind of the heart and soul of our team vocally, especially in the field defensively. He's just on top of everything. You, if, you, if you watch the game, is the way he takes charge of that infield is – been a huge turnaround for us. Uh, in terms of the hit and run, he's a kid we're real comfortable using it. He's strong through his hands. It, 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 it gets him in a free hitting mindset. And so his hit and runs usually result in the balls that you saw, hard line drives that sometimes split gaps. Uh, but he's a tremendous hitter and someone we trust immensely with the hit and run. Zach, you passed your uh, pitching coach, Dave Smith, today. Eight career wins to 25. <laughs> tell me how that went. Tell, tell me how that feels. Um, feels pretty good. Um, I'll say that Dave's trying his best not to uh, let me pass him by. I, I got skipped a few times this year, but uh, <laughs> I, it feels good. I mean, I, I, I want to give the game ball to Dave because, I mean, without him, I, I couldn't be as successful as I am because, I mean, Dave wasn't here my freshman year, and I, I think I was 0-2 with an 8. And since he's been here, I've had at least eight wins every year, and two of the years I was sub-2, and I, that, has to, that success has to be at least in part uh, because of him. Coach, talk to me. I mean, you guys jumped out to a 6 nothing lead early on. You really jumped all over them, uh, carried a lot of the momentum. How big was that for this team to be able to just uh, to get put together some hits, put together some runs early on, give your guy a little bit of a lead, and, and really take control of that game? 
I think it was huge. You know, uh, Emory is a tough-minded club. I, I think I'm more impressed with their mental makeup than anything else. And so we know that they're not going to go away. And, uh, you know, you're hopeful to have a start like that. And so once we started to get some runners on, we wanted to be super aggressive with the hit and run and get runners in motion. And it also was a great day to hit. Um, you know, anything that you squared had a chance of making a run at the fence or, or like Nick's ball, you know, going over the fence. So um, there's no way to measure how big jumping out was, but it, it was the game. It allowed Zach to settle in. It also allowed us to throw a ton more fastballs, like he alluded to. And once he gets that two-seamer turning over, a ton of ground balls, and we have a very good uh, infield, especially led by that shortstop, Connor Moore. He's outstanding. And Zach, your thoughts about getting staked to an early lead like that? Uh, it makes my life a whole lot easier. Um, you know, a couple times this year, I, it's been like a, in the conference tournament, for example, it was a 1-1 game against me and a kid named Tromba from Centenary. And, like, that's a tough game. It, you're, you're really going to have to battle. Um, and then every batter becomes, like, the biggest deal in the world. Now, here, guy gets a hit. Guy, I walk a guy, whatever it may be. I hit a guy to lead off an inning. I think that happened in the sixth. Um, it, it's real easy for me to just uh, take the next batter one batter at a time. Because if that run does score, so what? Yeah, kind of home run field. You really got a good swing on it and send it over. Tell me about it. Uh, felt good. I mean, yesterday and today, uh, me and Kevin Clements, one of our hitting coaches, uh, just worked on basically staying on top of the ball and just driving it. And, you know, that's what I, that was my approach going up to the play. And I got a good pitch to hit, put a good swing on it. See ya. <laughs>